Welcome to another React Firebase tutorial. In this video, we're gonna cover how to subscribe to the changes in your Firestore database. I will use same example as in previous uh, React CRUD Firestore application. And in this app, we're dealing with a database of spells from Dungeons and Dragons. We should be able to create new ones. New sp spell. Create. It will be in the end of the list. Uh, we should be able to update spell names. Test. And we should be able to, I will fix it back to iBite, and we should be able to remove spells from the database. Delete. So how do you achieve this marvelous result? Now, if you're new to Firebase and you need some guidance on how to create your application, how to upload data to your Firestore uh, database, then watch my previous video, which is how to use Firebase Firestore with React.js, creating CRUD application, where I cover all those topics. Otherwise, you can streamline the process and just download or clone uh, my repo called React Firebase from Satan's Deer. Uh, that contains uh, initial setup for this application. When you clone this app, you should see the following application. We have firebase.js file where you will have to insert your own Firebase data. Again, if you want to know how to do this, watch my previous video. Then you will have uh, app.js file which contains our list. It renders our list of spells. Each of them is represented by spell input. And spell input is it in its own separate file. Let's go back to app.js. Right now, when our application is being rendered for the first time, we are using use effect hook to fetch our data. Here's the function fetch data that we define here. It gets reference to Firestore and then fetches collection called spells. We've already uploaded it to our Firestore uh, storage. After we got the spells, we set our spells state that we create using use state hook in React to the value of fetched data. We make a bunch of changes to this data by mapping through all the documents contained in our document list. And what we do here is we append document ID to the document data. It will be needed to specify unique keys for our elements. And also we're going to use it inside of spell input because we will need spell IDs to be able to update them. In fact, there is not that many changes that we're going to make to our application. Uh, the only place where we fetch the data instead of subscribing to the changes in our database is here in our use effect. So instead of getting data directly using get method, we're going to subscribe to snapshot changes. Let's start updating our application by commenting out data and set spells statement. Now we need to subscribe to the changes. As I said, we can do it using uh, db collection and we're using same collection called spells here on snapshot and we need to pass a callback there. This callback is gonna get snapshot as its argument. Unfortunately this snapshot object doesn't have map method so we will have to use for each to iterate over its documents. So as we'll need to set our spells to some value we're gonna create an intermediate object called spells data spells data equals empty array for now. And now inside of for each, we're gonna push new documents to our spell data, to our spells data array. We're gonna pass a function that will accept a doc. And inside of it, we're gonna call spells data push. And then we can copy this part where we create new object from document data and document ID. After we iterated over our snapshot and recorded uh, our spells to spells data array, we can set spells to spells data. And now we can remove our previous code. As we are not doing any async requests now, we can remove fetch data call and fetch data definition. Now the only thing left is to unsubscribe from the database when we unmount our component. When you call on snapshot, you will get an unsubscribe function that you, can that you can store in some constant, const unsubscribe. In order to unsubscribe, then you will just call this unsubscribe function and you will be done. You will unsubscribe from your collection that you subscribe to using on snapshot. Now, when you use React use effect hooks, you can call cleanup functions just by returning them in the end of this use effect callback. So in our case, we will just return unsubscribe function. It's important that we are not calling it here 
we're just returning the reference to our unsubscribe function. And actually, we can just remove this constant creation and say return the value that on snapshot will give to us, which will be unsubscribe function. And this function will be called when this component will be unmounted. Again, this code is equivalent to this thing here. But instead of creating an intermediate unsubscribe value, that will be our unsubscribe function, we're just returning the result of on snapshot call. Thank you for watching this video. You can find example code for this tutorial in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you like this video and press a like button. See you in the next videos.